Now today New is trading down 8%. Now you remember that one of the main things that is causing this of course is the COVID uh, cases surge in China which is resulting in supply chain constraints. You will remember that Neo uh, two weeks ago came out and saying that they were closing down of course uh, uh, production at their Jack Neo factory which later uh, the following week uh, we read wonderful articles to say that Neo had not completely closed down uh, their production in Jack Neo but they were still uh, producing their cars uh, during the week but on a small scale which I think made investors to be very excited about that because uh, with that we ju just simply means that Neo in terms of the delivery numbers uh, come end of April they will not report bad delivery numbers as probably many anticipate which is something that makes me want to believe that it ought to motivate you to continue remaining bullish onto this Neo stock. Now you remember that Neo then last week came out and said that they are slowly gradually opening their production line which of course that brought a lot of excitement to investors and they said that the reason they are doing this is of course you remember that those suppliers that supply Neo with raw materials and all the other materials they were also opening in China which is something that it's amazing and it made investors to be really excited. Now one of the things especially looking at the share price of Neo today is that one of the fund managers of the emerging markets or whose company focuses on these emerging markets came out today and said that most of the Chinese stocks are probably reaching the bottom or offering or saying that this is a good opportunity for investors to probably go in and load the boat or buy these Chinese stocks yet again which is something that I personally believe that it has to probably motivate you because like this guy's company focuses on emerging markets which I would think that he has got a probably a lot and lots of experience in this kind of markets it should not be taken lightly when he is indicating of course to say that the, uh, the Chinese stock or some of the Chinese stocks are reaching the bottom and now it's a good opportunity to buy. Mm -hmm. Now you remember that uh, still on this NEO stock, NEO is a stock which production wise this year I've already told you that it is expected to do very well. I mean the CEO maintained uh, after New Day that NEO is going to deliver over 180,000 vehicles and just a few days in fact yesterday I released a video of another company that actually believes that NEO for this year they'll be able to deliver over 200,000 vehicles which is something that is truly amazing because these uh, delivery numbers that that company came out and predict or made a prediction on NEO it's even or it surpasses the prediction that NEO themselves said for themselves because uh, as I've said the NEO CEO came and said that they, they are looking at maintaining a 100% delivery rate even for this year and of course when looking at the production ramp up that is taking place at the Jack Neo factory and the upcoming Neo Park which is expected to start with the production around the Q3 of 2022 we can definitely see that it is very possible for Neo to meet or to get to this 100% delivery rate I've already explained that to you I mean with the Jack Neo you remember that uh, at the end of this first half in that factory is expected to have a production capacity of 300,000 vehicles with the double shifts which is something that of course it has to show you that uh, this ET7 that is being produced there which by the way ladies and gents uh, uh, it is not the only car that is produced at Jack Neo as you already know that Neo is also producing the ES6, ES8 and the EC6 at the Jack Neo factory and those old three models still has demand or they are still having some good demand and looking or having to look at the fact that Neo said that they will be upgrading the hardware on their old models it is going to continue increasing the demand in those models so this just simply means that uh, the current production capacity at Jack Neo which by the way right now before the uh, upgrades get completed there it's around 120,000 vehicles which uh, you will realize that it's quite or it's very low but now why am I telling you this I'm telling you that even for the ET7 delivery numbers don't expect Neo to 
probably start delivering a lot of the E27 simply because number one, the upgrades in the Jack Neo is not yet completed and I personally believe that we are going to see more of the E27 uh, being delivered after at least the upgrade in the Jack Neo factory is uh, done. That is when I would expect to see probably the E27 deliveries to start probably getting to 5,000 uh, maybe per month because I know that after those upgrades, then the production capacity will be able to probably maintain, uh, maybe near to add or to be able to deliver 5,000 of the 87s. But as for now, I don't think Neo can get to that looking at the current production capacity uh, at the Jack Neo factory. But, but the good thing, guys, of course, the good thing this year is that Neo is opening a new factory called the Neo Park. We already know that that's where the ET5. Uh, or will come from or will be produced and talking about the ET5 you know that the, the ET5 is one of the vehicles here in New York which its pre-orders has surpassed all of their previous models including the ET7 now this is just or this is just has to show you that the ET5 it's a model that will do very well in terms of deliveries people are liking it I mean so, 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 some few months back I am I'm sure some of you know this is in one of the videos where I did and saying that it looks like some of the people that wanted to buy of uh, of course this ET7 are sort of like opting to go and uh, wanting to consider the ET5 which that just has to show you that this is a vehicle that will do very well in terms of deliveries and the good thing about both the ET7 and the ET5 they are not only liked in China but these are the cars that are actually liked even outside of China and of course not forgetting the old models because you remember that also the old models like the ES8 right now which is currently selling in Norway it is a vehicle that looking at the fact that is the only vehicle that Neo is selling in Norway it is doing quite well because uh, delivery wise you will notice if you are to go track uh, they, they are doing quite well I think on a month they are selling an average of 90 uh, vehicles at that uh, no way near your house which I believe that it's quite good looking at the fact that there's the competition that side it's quite big and the EV adaptation in Norway is very very high I mean I think Norway is one of the uh, countries in Europe where the EV adaptation is it's very very high we're seeing that Neo with their old model or oh, selling their old ES8 <laughs> and still being able to get 90 vehicles almost every month is something that should motivate you to probably stick along onto this Neo store because imagine the kind of deliveries that Neo will be able to produce when they take their ET7 there imagine the kind of deliveries that Neo will be able to produce when they take their ET5 there and again their upcoming ES7 which is said to compete with the BMW X5. So this just simply means that Neo will do very well. Now Neo is a company like I said that in Wall Street Wall Street remain very bullish when they look at Neo which is why as in the screen notice that it has or it currently has a strong buy and 15 out of 17 analysts believes that Neo is a buy whilst two are saying it's a hold. There is no analyst in Wall Street who is saying Neo is a sell or sell this Neo stock which some, is something that has to be taken as a very good sign to say that this is a stock which will do very well and now otherwise as for the price target you will notice that Neo currently has a price target of around $43 and of course this is an average price target now looking at where Neo is trading at which is almost at $18 it is a good opportunity for you to probably go in and load the board onto this Neo stock because I am telling you this prices uh, when looking at Neo or where Neo is, is going to and looking at the current trading price I mean you and me can definitely agree that this is a stock which is trading at a massive discount and of course looking at the current fundamentals and where the stock or the company is going which is something that I believe you should take the good opportunity and probably load the boat onto this new stock now as i always say this video was just an entertainment video and you should not take it as a professional financial advice video and i would really appreciate if uh, you can hit that likes button that's if you enjoy the content that i just gave you about the neo stock and probably subscribe that's if you have not subscribed to the channel already and click that notification bell so that youtube can notify you 
every time i release a video otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and before you load the boat onto this new stock please do make sure that you do your own due diligence so that at least you can be comfortable when you are investing into this stock otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and god bless you all